See, when you lead the nation in homicides, there ain't nothing to talk about. The discussion is over. A call to oneness, a call to unity, a call to love each other, a call for you and me. Listen to the cries, listen to the needs, instead of hearing war. Sounds of peace. We can't go on this way. We have got to make a change. Together we stand and divided we fall. It's time to heed the call. You're my brother. I'm here for you. Let's be one. A call to be real fathers. A call to be real men. A call to be real brothers. A call to take a stand. Save our future, but we must decide to love and let live or to hate and let die. We can't go on this way. No, we have got to make a change. Divided we fall, we must heed the call. You're my brother, I'm here for you. Let's be one. A call to oneness, a call to do what's right. to reconcile listen to the rhythm of the return of our men we're committed soldiers we won't stop till we win we can't go on this way I'm here for you, let's be one. And thank God for Dr. Clark, because I, my parents used to tell me, everybody don't have to be nice to you. Mm. And, and to, to see him give me that opportunity, because I remember when I brought the song, I didn't think nobody was going to like it. <laughs> no, it's just me. <laughs> you know, my little Stevie Wonder moment. <laughs> you know, so I gave him the song and, and, and for the song to do what it did, man, that's just truly a blessing from God uh, for me to be in several different kinds of situations mm. and to be inspired to write by whatever's happening or whatever's going on. That's a, that's a humbling place to be, humbling place, man. And, and, and that's how it is with all of the music that I write. I'm, I'm moved by the spirit, whatever the situation is, the Lord starts speaking to me, man. And that's how I write. 
most of whatever it is I write. If it's something going on or that's kind of how it happens. And that's what happened with that Call of Wonder song. Yeah, that's why I was about to ask you next as far as, uh, uh, do you write the song first and then add the music or does the music come first or does it depend? Uh, uh, they kind of come together. Okay, okay. Very seldom uh, will I come up with some music and and write the words to it later. Okay. I may have the, the beginning, the hook, and I can pretty much hear it in my head how it's going to go. And I just, I'll have like whatever the hook is or whatever the chorus is. And, and then I'll start writing A, B, C, D, E, F, G. <laughs> That's a special verse to write. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, that's what I'm trying to say. I told y'all, I told y'all, the sense of humor is on a whole different level. You with, look after seeing a couple of his, if you ever went to a concert, after seeing these videos, you like I said, like his daddy said, smile sometimes, shake it to them. Uh, you are cracking me up right now, boy. You are cracking me up. But I mean, that's that's just, I mean, that's just the. The love that I have for you, brother. Cause I mean, it, it's, I mean, like I said, that song that kicked it off. And then I'm gonna show another video. Brother, I got the scoop from Chris Watkins. Uh, I interviewed him, I interviewed Chris a while back, and mm -hmm. uh, I asked him about the Barabbas song. And he was like, he just got y'all together, what, two days before y'all performed yeah. it? Yeah. And I was like, dude, I said, Chris, that's one of, that song that live from when I shot the video. That song there is a whole nother beast by itself. He said, man, he said, he said, when, 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 when Kyle wrote it, I just said, well, this is a chance for us to get the musicians together around mm -hmm. St. Louis, because he said that the, that the whole thing is that St. Louis musicians don't get along, can't get along, egos mm -hmm. and all that. He said, we got together two days. Yeah. And pulled it off. And I said, man, that thing there. And on that, I mean, on that, who starts it off? The little fella. Look, the little fella starts it off. <laughs> you know, so I mean, it, and again, that goes to show, like I said, for you to be to be looked at by brothers in 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 St. Louis as being a voice to listen and a voice that can help them present what it is that they write. That's a good thing. I mean, I, I'm the proud. I'm proud to say I know Pastor Shadrach Robinson. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, being a part of that, how, what kind of experience, what, how, how did that make you feel as well, being a part of that, project, that, that song for that day, or however long they've been doing the project? Man, well, that was a great experience. It was good for us to come together. Uh, of course, we run into each other all the time at different programs or whatever, but for us to come together collectively and, and sing that song to work on that, that was a powerful moment powerful moment and I was on it again <laughs> like mama did say people don't have to be kind to you they don't have to be nice to you so for them to ask me to be a part of that man I'm I'm still honored to just have a part or be able to participate in anything that I get to do I'm honored man because it's so many singers out here is so many musicians out here and for people to to ask you to do something I humbly accept, and I, you know, I tell them I'm writing them songs, them with them verses that A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I can stick them verses. <laughs> no, I'm just playing, man. but I, I really, I really appreciate it, man. I really do.
far as as far as writing for other people, have you done some some songs for other folks in general? Yes, I have, and uh, uh, of course. <laughs> my brother Junior started recording my songs and I said I was gonna stop letting them hear. <laughs> every song that I did that I liked it, I wanted to do, he took it and he did it. So uh, when Junior uh, recorded his Back Again album with Malico Records, mm. the guy who was in charge, Frank Williams died at the time. Okay. And the guy who took over was uh, Jerry Mannery he heard those songs and he started saying, I want to see if you can write for these other people. So I ended up writing for uh, Brian Wilson. Okay, okay. Uh, did a song for Mississippi Mass, Lily and Lily. Okay. Uh, well, all of that stuff is out on my website, the, the different people that I uh, wrote songs for. So yeah, it, and, and it's been a blessing, man. I mean, and that's one of the, one of the great ways I think that God has used me also being able to write for other people and to have that carry and, and travel through the world, man, is that's truly been a blessing. As a matter of fact, I remember uh, a lot of people may not remember Monica Moore and uh, Terry uh, or Joe Lester, Terry okay. Lewis or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. They did a concert back in the day, way back in the day. And um, I wrote a song for them to sing at the concert and the concert was good and they didn't even get to sing the song. Wow. And after, after it was over, uh, Bishop Greenlee, he got up and he said, I see something great for you. So you're, you, you're gonna have songs go all of these different places. And I, I wasn't even tripping off of it. I was just enjoying the concert. <laughs> It was just that good, <laughs> enjoying the singing and the music or whatever. And and lo and behold, man, when, when Junior did his album and I got opened up to those different people, mm. yeah, man, it the Lord has blessed him, man. So I'm I'm grateful for that. And I, I still try to write for people when I have the opportunity. Yeah, it, it's a great experience. It's a great privilege to be able to write for other people and to hear them do one of your songs. It's that's something that messes with the mind. <laughs> it really does. Uh, so, 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 if we say right now, Junior had pulled a couple of Rita Franklin's on you, didn't you? <laughs> 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 oh, that's funny. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's funny. I mean, I mean, no, I said, I, I mean, for that, if for those of you who saw the first Rita Franklin movie and ain't seen the second one yet. It's a it's a couple of scenes in there where, hey, I mean, it was it, it's a song. Well, Y'all check it out, but it's a song in there that was offered to Aretha. She said no, and then turned around and her sister sang it. Yeah, and then she went back and says, "Well, I'm gonna go ahead and, and take the song. I can do it now because she was having an issue and kept that bad boy." <laughs> and it's like, oh. really, you stole my song. <laughs> so I mean, it's, it's hey, they 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 worked it out, but. Yeah, I understand. I understand, Shannon. I understand. You like how you I mean of, of course song? that's that's my oldest brother. How I'm gonna tell him no. <laughs> and I think I think that's the same with Riri. Riri was older than her. <laughs> but I mean it, it's but again, I mean, like you said, it's that family piece and it's and, and music. And like I say again, one thing I know is when good music, it survives time. And like I said, for that. I mean, call to one, I mean, say it, like I said, today, it, it, it survives. I mean, and, and, and based on what you've done in the past, where do you think some of, of, of the music of today, gospel music of today, cause I'm not, I mean, is it is it a different kind of writing or is it a, is it a different kind of spirit? Is it a, what is, what is in the, cause, cause I'm gonna be a front, be a front. Some of these songs today, man, are not songs when you got the same 17 words being repeated for three minutes. There ain't no song, man. 
I hear you asking this question. I'm like, oh, he trying to get me in trouble. Now. No, see, that's he why I had to <laughs> and, and the thing is, yeah, good music lasts. Yes, sir. And it goes back to the question you asked earlier about me writing the music first or the lyrics. That's why I say it, it comes together. Because from my opinion, what I see, uh, a lot of this stuff appears to be music based. How many hits, how many chords, how many changes? We, we might throw Jesus name in there three times. <laughs> <laughs> and and I mean, again, <laughs> when you look at music that lasts, this is 2001 and Amazing Grace still works. Man. It still works, man. Still works. And, and I think it, it's very critical for us to be in tune with the Lord, be in tune with our Savior. Because for one reason, a lot of our music, it doesn't last because it's not in tune with what he says in his word. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And when you are in tune with what the word says and you write from that perspective, a, a lot of this stuff, it, it, we make it more about us and it ain't about us. It's mm -hmm. about him. Mm -hmm. And when we come from that perspective, it's a different approach, man. It gives people something more that they can can enjoy, that they can feast off of. Right. So I think I think our, our our music today is in a very dangerous place, man. And 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 at this, while I'm saying that, at the same time, a lot of it sounds good. Mm. It's very entertaining, but you don't need entertainment when you're crying. That's it. That's you need it. something that can speak to your heart, that can speak to your soul, yes, sir. that can comfort your mind, that can ease the pain when you're going through. Because I'm here to tell you, when my parents died, when my brother died, I wasn't caring about the fancy stuff. Right. I was looking right. for something that was going to minister to my heart, man. So I think that's why we have to be mindful. We have to be careful with whatever we do, whatever we present before people and whatever we present before the Lord. Because we, we want, we ought to want God's approval more than man's approval. If God like it, everybody, they'll, they'll get it. They'll understand. <laughs> but if God is just saying, I didn't tell you to write that. That ain't got nothing to do with me. People are only like it for this long. Yeah. Man, yes, sir. I mean, like you say, and it's it, like I said, I, I was not trying to get you out of like that, but it just <laughs> came to where it's like, it's like, let's, let me ask a real, let, let me ask a brother for real, let's be for real, cause uh, it is yeah. some, it's some song, like I say, it, it's, it's like, it's and, it's, and it's funny because, like you say, it's like Pastor say about preachers. He say, if a brother preaches a whole sermon and you don't hear Jesus one time, you like, Okay, was that a speech? Cause I, I ain't, I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> and he right. I just said it yesterday. With all that we've gone through with this pandemic, uh, uh, a, a lot of our, our preaching, a lot of us preachers, we need to rethink some things. We need to pay attention to what we're doing, to what we're saying, because uh, with the, these numbers spiking again, and things might shut down again. You need to pay attention to what you're doing. People don't need the entertainment. No. Mm -hmm. and, and, we and need that, Jesus. That's it. I, and and like I said, I, look, it must have been, it must have been a natural spirit going around. Because Pastor said it too. He was like, no, nah. he said it, entertainment and what we some of you preachers need to stop preaching because all you do is entertaining. No, we ain't about entertaining no more. Oh no, no. No, this this ain't the time for. For making me feel good. No, no, I need I need some truth and some love and some yeah. God to help me make it through. And I yeah, mean, you need a word from the Lord. <laughs> and I that's that the one nineteen says. If you stay in His Word, it'll keep you safe. We want to get out of some of this trouble. It ain't gonna happen if we keep entertaining each other. We got to do what God tells us to do, man. That's the only thing that's gonna make a difference in this world, in our lives, in the church, everywhere we go, everywhere we are. Man, oh man, boy, woo. see, I told you, Shad, we're gonna have some fun up in there, boy. Uh, so now, look, look, now, we're gonna go ahead and move into 
the new music. Tell tell us about tell us about the new. Man, this this new project is the winter project, man. Yeah, yeah. And actually, I was talking about my brother, <laughs> how I wouldn't let him hear my song. <laughs> <laughs> this project, and actually Junior heard every song uh, that I wrote on this project except for one, okay. except for Yes I Do, and I wrote that a couple of days before he died, wow. walking out of the hospital, I was singing that. Wow. Uh, but this project, this winter project, I pray that everyone goes out on all of the digital platforms, listen to it, check it out, do all of the streaming, sharing, downloading, doing all of that stuff. I hope I'm saying, I keep getting some of that stuff wrong sometimes, but whatever, <laughs> y'all know what you're supposed to do on these, on these platforms. But I want this music to get out to everybody because everybody needs to know, it, especially if you are walking with the Lord, you are a winner. And this project actually comes from the fact that uh, when Junior died, man, I got depressed. Mm. I didn't want nothing to do with music no more. I was doing what I had to do. I would play or whatever, only if I had to, cause I had to, whatever the circumstance was. And, and I got to listening to uh, some music, uh, Jonathan Butler's Free uh, and, and uh, Tweet's Charlene CD. Mm -hmm. And I got inspired. It brought me out of the depression I was in. And I decided to do this winter project in honor of Junior, man, because I still realize, I still know that even though I lost daddy, even though I lost mama, even though I lost Junior, I'm still winning. Right, and so right, this right. applies to everything that you may be facing, everything that you may be going through. Know that if God is, if you got God in your life, God is keeping you winning. Keeps me company 